Hey everyone, in this lesson we would like to discuss the rating factor in cables or to be more specific due to cable formation in the trifoil and uh, or the trefoil and the flat formation. Okay. Now first what does a rating factor mean? The rating factors or correction factors are the factors which makes a cable current current carrying capacity less than the designed value so let's say for example if our cable is designed to give 100 amperes rated current of 100 amperes then due to several conditions such as ambient air temperature high temperature for example soil temperature if it is buried under the ground and laying a method of the cable such as the cable formation all of this can lead to derating inside the cable and what does that derating mean it means instead of giving 100 amperes 100 amperes as a rated value it will just give us 80 amperes 80 amperes okay why we designed it for 100 amperes however the several conditions such as the temperature of air as an example led to only having a current capacity of 80 amperes it is called d rating okay so the d rating factors d rating factors are important because when you design something in a certain temperature certain uh, distance or uh, certain depths or a certain formation you have to take into consideration the rating factor okay now for example if the cable has a rating factor of 0.8 what does this mean it means that the cable only can provide 80 percent of its rated current okay that's why we need to select a higher current capacity or current carrying capacity cable to compensate for this drop in the current now let's say for example our first example 100 amperes cable this is the current capacity of the cable and we have a load of 100 amperes now due to the durating factor of 0.8 it means this cable will not be able to satisfy our load because it will only be able to provide 80 amps because 80% of its rated value so what we can do is that we select higher current uh, capacity cable and under the same conditions it will give us the 100 amps so if we select a higher current cable of value how can we do this simply current divided by the rating factor okay so let's say we have a load of 100 amperes and we have the cable or the rating factor of the cable is 0.8 so it means that we will need 125 amperes of uh, the rated current capacity of the cable so what does this mean if we take a cable of 125 amps okay and subjected it to the same rating factor of 0.8 it will give us 125 multiplied by 80 percent gives us the 100 amps which is the required current by the root okay now how can we define this rating factor you will find several tables in the catalog of the cables itself okay now this lesson is just about the rating factor due to cable formation so as you can see from the catalog itself you will find here uh, the tree foil or the flat formation the rating factor for a three you can see three cables single core you can see uh, three cable single core one core this is a single core cable another single core cable another one okay now if we open our catalog you will find number of circuits you will find the formation you will find also in case of touching spacing and another type of spacing okay let's understand this uh, in a very simple uh, points okay 
Now, as you can see here, we have number of circuits. And what does number of circuits mean? The number of circuit is how many, how many cores for each phase. Okay. So as an example, if we have for each phase two, one like this, like this. So it means two circuits for each phase. So phase A, for example, takes two circuits. B takes two circuits and C takes two circuits. Now, as you can see in the catalog, like this, depending on how many circuits are you using, are you using two, three, four, five, six, the more circuits are you are using, the higher the, the D rating factor or the lower the D rating factor, like this. Okay, and you can find if these cables are touching, okay, and if they have a space and the spacing, okay. Now, what does this mean? Like this. You can see this one is phase A, phase B, phase C. Here we have phase A, phase B, phase C. Okay. Now, that's the center from the center here to the center here is called the spacing. From the center here to this center is called spacing. Okay. Center of this cable to the center of this cable or the center of these circuits to this uh, center of these circuits okay here also center of these circuits from center here to center center to center is called the spacing which is denoted by l okay okay now the first one is called the tree foil formation and the flat formation which we discussed in the previous lesson okay now if these if these cables are touching touching each other the l is equal to zero no spacing between cables like this if the first one second one will be very close to it like this okay if they are very close to each other like this then in case of the tree foil and in flat you can see this is the rating factor and this is the rating factor for flat for tree foil okay now if the space is larger 0.15 meter between the two phases then as you can see as you can see the tree foil the rating factor increased improved okay from 0.77 to 0.82 which means it will carry 82 percent of the rated current now you can see the flat also improved like this more space means less heat dissipation or heat transfer between cables which means better uh, durating factor the best of course the rating factor is one okay now in case of a double of the space double the, the first space you can find 0 0.88 and 0 0.91 okay improve the two so more space between phases means better uh, durating factor okay now another thing you'll find that in this case this configuration or this table the rating factor cable is used when the cables are led directly or uh, parried directly in the ground okay you can also have these tables in uh, this uh, cables in uh, cable tray you can have them in air all of these are different conditions and you will find the tables for them inside the catalog okay so i hope that the rating factor for cables is clear now we of course we will have a uh, more example on the rating factor and how can we select our cable in the next lessons